हरियो एंड नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू स्टैंड ए चैप्टर नंबर थ्री इफेक्ट्स ऑफ ब्रिटिश रूल मिलिट्री एंड पुलिस फोर्स द ड्यूटी ऑफ मिलिट्री वॉज टू सेफ गार्ड द ब्रिटिश ऑक्युपाइड रीजन इन इंडिया ऑल्सो to acquire new territories and break down any revolt against the british in india military and police force also have to maintain law and order in the country and this is their foremost duty of the police force judicial system the british established a new judicial system in india on the basis of judicial system in england Every district had a civil and criminal court to solve the local cases. For reconsideration of their judgments, a high court was established. Equality before law. In early times, law in India differed from place to place. There was difference in judgment on the basis of casteism. under the leadership of lord macaulay a committee was set up to create the code of law the indian penal code was enforced all over british india with british principle of equality before law but there were some defects in it there were separate codes and different laws for the europeans new laws were difficult to be understood by common people legal cases became an expensive affair for the community and the cases remained pending for years together economic policies of the british since ancient times there were invasions in india many invaders settled in india and were absorbed in the indian culture even though they ruled here they never made any changes in the basic indian economic system the britishers were an exception england was a modern nation due to industrial revolution capitalist economy prevailed hence they inculcated an economic system in india which was conducive to economic system in england due to this britishers gained economic benefit but india started facing economic exploitation land revenue policy before the british rule the village economic system was self sufficient through agriculture and related services the needs of the village were fulfilled in the village itself land revenue was the main source of income of the state during the pre british period revenue was based on the type of cultivated crop the farmer was exempted from taxation in case of loss of crops revenue was mainly collected in the form of grains even in case of late payment of tax the farmer's land was not confiscated to increase income the british made important changes in the revenue system land was measured and as per the area of the land the tax was fixed payment of tax was made compulsory in the form of cash if the farmer failed to pay tax in time then his land would be confiscated the british system of land revenue collection differed from place to place which led to exploitation of all farmers consequences of new land revenue system there were undesirable effects of the new land revenue system on the rural life for payment of taxes 
Indian farmers started selling the crops at whatever price it received. The merchants and brokers started purchasing their goods at minimum rate. At certain time, the farmers had to mortgage his land to the money lender for arrangement of money to pay the tax. Farmer became bankrupt. In case of non-repayment of loan, the farmer had to sell his land. The farmer was exploited by the government, zamindar, money lenders and merchants. Commercialization of Agriculture Initially, food grains were cultivated by the farmers. It used to fulfill their domestic needs as well as the needs of the village. The British government started giving more encouragement to cash crops like cotton, indigo, tobacco, tea, etc. The process of giving stress on cultivation of profit, giving cash crops instead of food grains is known as the commercialization of agriculture. Farming From 1860 to 1900, India faced great famine, but the British rulers did not take much efforts to overcome it. Similarly, not much expenditure was made on provision of water supply. Development in transport and communication system For increase in trade and convenience of administration, the British developed modern facilities like transport and communication in India. In 1853, first railway ran on the route of Mumbai to Thane. In the same year, British started telegraph system in India. Due to it, all cities and military stations got connected to one another. Due to all these developments, there was a long-term impact on the social life of the Indians. Due to this, there was increasing sense of unity among them. Decline of traditional industries in India. The British government obtained huge taxes on goods exported from India to England. On the other hand, very less tax was imposed on goods imported from England to India. Also, the goods manufactured in England were machine made and hence there was maximum production at minimum cost. To compete with such cheap products was difficult for the Indian Artisans. Eventually, it led to closing down of traditional industries and many Artisans became unemployed. Due to the lack of British support, experience of management and capital, the Indian businessmen could not come forward in large numbers. Yet, some of them built up their business by overcoming these problems. In 1853, Kawasi Nanaboy Dawar started the first textile mill in Mumbai. In 1855, the first jute mill was started at Rishra in Bengal. In 1907, Jamshedji Tata established the Tata Iron and Steel Company at Jamshedpur. In India, coal, metals, sugar, cement and chemical industries came to be started. Social and Cultural Effects In the 19th century, Europe, a new era took shape on basis of values like humanitarianism, democracy, nationalism, liberalism, etc. 
this change in west led to obvious repercussion on india for carrying out administration the british had to understand the indian society for this purpose they started studying the tradition history literature as well as music flora and fauna of india in 1784 sir william jones an english officer established the asiatic society of bengal at kolkata max muller a german thinker was a scholar of indian religion language and history due to these examples there arose feelings among newly educated indians to study indian religion history and tradition in 1829 lord william bentinck passed the sati prohibition act in 1856 lord dalhousie passed the widow remarriage act these acts were responsible for social reforms for carrying out administration in india the british required english educated indians according to recommendation of lord macaulay in 1835 english education started being imparted in india through new education indians were introduced to western thoughts modern reforms science and technology in 1857 universities were established at kolkata mumbai and madras the western educated middle class indians led the social reform movement in india recap under the leadership of lord macaulay a committee was set up to create the code of law the british system of land revenue collection differed from place to place which led to exploitation of all farmers the farmer was exploited by the government zamindar money lenders and merchants from 1860 to 1900 india faced great famine but the british rulers did not take much efforts to overcome it in 1853 kawashi nanaboy davar started the first textile mill in mumbai in 1855 the first jute mill was started at rishra in bengal in 1907 jamshedji tata established the tata iron and steel company at jamshedpur in 1784 sir william jones an english officer established the asiatic society of bengal at kolkata max muller a german thinker was a scholar of indian religion language and history in 1829 Lord William Bentinck passed the Sati Prohibition Act. In 1856, Lord Dalhousie passed the Widow Remarriage Act. According to recommendation of Lord Macaulay, in 1835, English education started being imparted in India. In 1857, universities were established at Kolkata. Mumbai and Madras Thank you